Regardless of how rich or strong you are, you just have 24 hours in a day. Time is a finite asset. Therefore, what is the reason we give very small thought to how we utilize it? A lot of us are in denial about the number of things we can achieve in a day. We continue loading stuff into our calendars, using extraordinary thinking to assume they will complete the task. However, we cannot work for 10-hour days and at the same time have adequate time for our loved ones, friends, family, workout, meditation, as well as a proper night's rest. At a point, something has to change, there is no need for your schedule to look like that. Placing emphasis on what is significant and having feasible goals. You can begin devoting your time in a manner that is beneficial to you. In the following chapters, you will discover the reason why the majority of successful individuals understand how to seek assistance, how to know how to be thankful for little things, and also, the reason why being a perfectionist can reduce your efficiency. Chapter 1 Setting Action-Based Priorities is the first key secret to productive time investment. Let us say your loved ones, friends and co-workers took money by themselves from your purse. Wouldn't it be very annoying? You might even feel like calling the police. You would never allow humans to assist themselves with your money. Therefore, what is the reason for allowing them to do the exact thing with your time? Time is a finite and valuable asset. However, we usually don't consider it in that manner. We let our coworkers give us additional work or get dragged into a lot of boards. At times, we end up wasting our own time as well, similar to when we fall victim to the distractions of social media and use several hours checking our mobile phones. There will be individuals as well as apps that are constantly yearning for your time. If you don't wish to get dragged in every part, you need to set direct limitations around time investments. However, this can only be done if you are aware of your priorities. In order to know your priorities, you have to first ask yourself this valid question, what are the things that make your life a successful one? This is actually a question that is personal. It doesn't have anything to do with what the world considers significant and worthy. According to you, success might mean having adequate time to improve your collection of butterflies and at the same time having a job that feeds you. It might even mean having quality time with your whole friends. As soon as you've noted your definition of success, create a note of your actual priorities and rank them based on how significant they are. That is only the beginning. After that, you have to make those priorities action-based. For instance, let's say spending quality time with your family members ranks top of the list, then, maybe you have to leave work a bit early, so you are just in time to have dinner. Definitely, you can have a change in priorities. At times, a huge life circumstance, such as sickness or a fresh relationship, will entail that you have to evaluate your desires again. You might have to dedicate more time to your health for a short period of time or reduce additional work in order to create time to allow romance to flourish. Living in relation to your priorities is an active procedure that requires regular balancing and rebalancing. Provided that you continue questioning yourself on, what are the things that make my life successful? Only then will you constantly possess an important mission to achieve. Chapter 2 Powerful Feelings Can Disrupt Well-Laid Strategies, Except You Accept Them Setting your priorities is different from abiding by them. At times humans disrupt their personal goals, maybe you have eventually chased your dream of doing a degree part-time, just to leave school only a few months after. Or maybe at times, you play video games and disrupt your work efficiency even when you have a time frame to meet. Knowing how to use your time well isn't basically about having priorities or having a list. The most significant thing is knowing the fundamental feelings that influence how you act. If you do not deal with these feelings, the carefully laid strategies can be at risk to your self-disruption as well. However, you can make progresses if you actually accept those feelings. Fear is one strong feeling you might experience when embarking on a new project. You might be afraid of failing and that you might appear stupid or you will disappoint other people. Also, if you disregard these fears, they only get worse. You might even start to get stressed out and freaking out, you even begin to act defensively. As a result of these fears, 
your concentration is lost and you might quit those strategies completely. However, you don't need to do that. The strength of fear reduces if you actually take time to accept your emotions and figure out the exact thing that makes you scared. As a matter of fact, this can even be utilized as a form of motivation. Shame as well as guilt is other powerful feelings that can weaken you at times. Guilt can set in when you have unfeasible hopes for yourself. You associate your self-esteem with your efficiency and benefits to other people. Also, you might start to feel ashamed when you are unable to accomplish what you really wish to, also, guilt, as well as shame, can make you exceed your limits and conceal your actual self from others. They are feelings that can make it difficult to take genuine steps on how to make use of your time since you will be trapped in the phase of attempting to make other people happy, you need to accept your emotions and also have empathy for yourself if you want to deal with guilt and shame. Afterward, Create clear options on what you are actually in charge of and ensure you are not doing too much. Be in the midst of individuals who accept you wholeheartedly for you, instead of for what you do, guilt, fear as well as shame are only some of the usual feelings you may feel, particularly during times of change. Note that, if you embrace your feelings, they can turn into your greatest buddies. Chapter 3 Nurturing a Positive Mindset is Significant to Accomplishing Your Aims let us imagine you are going for a huge job interview. What is on your mind? Rather than worrying about the worst-case scenario, imagine yourself succeeding in that interview, correctly answering all the questions and even bonding well with the people interviewing you. Does this seem impossible? Humans have become really accustomed to thinking of bad results that positive views can seem simple. However, they are no less practical than thinking that your interview will turn out badly. Also, research has shown that cultivating the act of positive thinking makes productivity better. For example, according to research that was done on weight loss, it was found that women who had faith that they would be able to shed weight were very likely to lose weight. The greatest type of positive thinking goes together with a feeling of personal obligation. In that weight loss study, women who believed that shedding weight would require a huge attempt lost about 24 pounds more than the women who thought it will be simple. Realistic optimists do not put great outcomes in the hands of fate. They understand that they need to put in the effort and trust in their strength as well as the capacity to accomplish things. Although, thinking positively might not naturally come to you. Fortunately, it is feasible to nurture as well as learn an optimistic mentality till it turns into your second nature. Practicing gratitude is a good point to begin. You might be doing tasking work or very busy with domestic work, however, if you check around thoroughly you can see something to be thankful for always. Practice gratitude for even little situations in your life. For instance, a cup of clean water or even a pleasant discussion with your coworker. After that, you have to begin reprogramming your view of yourself as well as your life. Use a silent moment to pay attention to what your internal speech tells you about yourself. Probabilities are, it is actually a serious voice, telling you words such as I make mistakes all or time or I will never flourish. This is actually a strong voice. However, you can transform the discussion by constantly practicing meditation approaches and reiterating positive words you begin to get conscious of what is happening in your mind when you meditate. Additionally, meditation minimizes stress and provides you with mental space to query your thoughts. As soon as you have started meditating, you can stay telling yourself positive affirmations such as I am worthy and bold. Initially, this might seem unnatural, however, continue, you will gradually transform the manner in which you see yourself. Chapter 4, Creating Realistic Expectations on How Much You Can Achieve is the Second Secret to Great Time Investment, You Wish to Arrive at Your Office Early. You actually do. Also, you do not know the reason why you are constantly late. In spite of all this, you usually give yourself 20 minutes to drive to work, and that is actually the accurate amount of time, that is if there are not a lot of red traffic lights. A lot of us are time optimists, and that is a good manner of stating that we are not realistic about the time things really take. People who are time optimists will have to prepare to do a lot of laundries and prepare a three-course meal after their work while checking their kids' assignments. Or maybe, 
they will shoulder a lot of responsibility at work, imagining, definitely, I will fit in a place. The issue about being too optimistic about time is that it usually makes you tired out and swamped when reality sets in. Also, this is the reason why the second secret is extremely vital. Time optimism usually stems from crafty perfectionism. We are extremely ambitious to do all things and do it appropriately. Hence, filling ourselves with a lot to do. However, ironically, being a perfectionist can even make us become less efficient. We concentrate on little things and lose concentration on the better things. Or we get very swamped that we become weak. For you to create realistic goals, quit being a perfectionist and embrace yourself just the way you are, not as you assume you were. Is it difficult for you to wake up in the morning? That means you are not the kind of person that goes for a 5 a.m. jog and prepares smoothies for morning food. Alter your expectations and make your morning as simple as it can by having your wares ready and sorting out your lunch the night before work. By being realistic, you buy your liberty. It is very comfortable to live the life you can afford. Also, when you realize how small time you have, you will make good options on what to make a priority, definitely, at times, expectations that are unrealistic stem from outside. Maybe your superior tells you to do a work of 60 hours in a 40-hour week. Or maybe your friends assume you to be constantly present. In all of these scenarios, you will have to make it a habit of telling them no and coping with other individuals' expectations. For instance, you can set up a meeting with your superior and tell her that you won't be able to complete it all in time, therefore, you will place priority on the most pressing jobs. Or let how to allow your cell phone to go to voicemail and make phone calls back to your friends when it is convenient for you. Chapter 5 Fortifying Easy Habits is the third secret to great time investment. One of the most occupied people in the world is Sheryl Sandberg, who is the executive of Facebook. And still, she leaves her workplace at 5.30 p.m. daily and she gets home right in time to have supper with her children at 6 p.m. For Sandberg, family time is essential, therefore, it became an action-based priority. Also, she strengthened the action with the assistance of an easy, direct habit. Habits are the center of proper time planning. Routines can make us become less swamped since they hinder the number of options we have to take daily, and we are only left with the mental space to focus on significant stuff. Habits are not just beneficial for hard workers who wish to do less work. Additionally, routines are important for individuals who need to improve their efficiency. For instance, freelancers usually have an issue with being on their seats to work since their work doesn't require many inbuilt facilities. There was a time the author assisted a popular writer who couldn't find the zeal to write her next book. There is a lot at stake, and she was under pressure to fit the criteria of her former book. Additionally, she had been diagnosed lately with ADHD, and she understood that it made it more difficult for her to concentrate on only one project. This writer formed an easy writing routine with the assistance of the author, it entails her sitting down to work as soon as she's had her morning coffee. Instantly, she was making constant and regular progress on her next book, although she just worked on her project for a few hours each morning. Also, she had the liberty to commit herself to other plans during the remaining time of the day, calm knowing that her vital job was completed. It is likely that accordingly to you, habits appear with so many bad connections. Maybe you recall being coerced into tedious routines when you were a child and you feel the necessity to fight back. It is possible for habits to destroy spontaneity and can as well suppress your creativity. However, as a matter of fact, the opposite is right. If you make it a habit where you are aware that you fulfilling your vital duties, you can then relish your remaining time without feeling guilty and do other things that you love more. However, how does one actually execute a habit? You will learn more about this in the following chapter. Chapter 6 By doing these four simple measures, you can form your personal successful routines. At this point, you have probably been persuaded about the significance of routines. However, carrying out your personal routine may seem like a difficult job. In order to assist you, this is a comprehensive outline of the four measures you have to use to establish successful routines in your personal life. Figuring out what to do is the first measure to take. 
Recall that checklist of priorities? Choose one from it that you would wish to concentrate on and figure out how to change it into one particular action. For instance, let us say for you, health is a priority, you might consider going for a jog 20 minutes each morning. Now is the time for the second measure since you have picked your action, cautiously envisioning your brand new routine and expecting any likely hindrances. For instance, you need to practically evaluate the amount of time the action will require, and also if you really possess the time to incorporate it in your daily life. Additionally, you should expect what might go south. Let's look at our running scenario once more, and question yourself on what will be the case during rainy days. You might not be in the mood to go for a jog and therefore, figure out another activity for rainy periods, as soon as you have considered these hindrances, you can begin imagining how you will carry out the actual routine. Let's say you are going for a jog in the morning, plan beforehand, bring out your workout apparel a night before the jog, and also ensure that you sleep at a good time. Another thing that can be of help is to highlight the actual action you will have to do in the morning, for instance getting out of bed and wearing your shoes, you are now prepared for the third measure which is practicing it. Recall that. At first, your routine may seem weird or unusual. You may see yourself wanting to fight back or having mental hindrances. Regardless of anything, continue going, as confusing or clumsily as possible. The last and fourth step is evaluating your progress. Ensure to commend yourself for any growth you make, even though it is little, say you only succeed to jog once a week, it is still big progress. As soon as that is completed, Check if there are changes that can be done to the routine to make it more effective. Also, reiterate, for a lot of people, abiding by a routine is the difficult aspect. Fortunately, that is what will be discussed in the last chapter. Chapter 7 In order to be successful, seek assistance in accomplishing your goals. Although the author does a time coach to make ends meet, she sometimes finds it hard to create time for her personal priorities, for instance. During the time when she wanted to write a book proposal, she felt much inner struggle and dread of failure. She created small time for working on the book proposal every week, however, she was aware she wouldn't be able to abide by it without assistance. Therefore, she took it to herself to look for some accountability teammates to ensure she remained on the right path. Accountability teammates, or cheerleaders, are individuals that will assist you in accomplishing your aims, even in situations where you are not in the mood. They are particularly significant for long-term, tasking projects. In the absence of accountability, it is possible for your drive to be lost just after the first weeks. This signifies that you never accomplish what you wished for. The perfect accountability teammates are individuals that you can be totally open with. These people need to be devoted to you as well as your project, however, remain objective as well. These people can be your relatives, friends, or even a personal coach. You have to consider ahead of time the amount of contact that will be significant in ensuring you are on the right track and the particular things you would prefer to talk to them about during your check-ins. Say you are attempting to begin workout sessions, you could send a status report every day on WhatsApp. Let's say you are working on your PhD dissertation, it might be beneficial for you to send a cover of completed pages each week to your partner. Becoming part of a group can be a really productive manner of being responsible and held accountable. Consider groups such as Weight Watchers or Alcoholics Anonymous, or a book club even. Individuals assist one another in modifying habits a day or even a week at a time, which could be stopping alcohol or reading more books. The significance of being in a group is that all of you are in it together. A strong unity can come from mutual help, place of work can establish a habit of accountability that serves as an advantage to the employees. This can entail doing the work together to ensure that everybody reaches productivity targets, however, it could also be ensuring that individuals take adequate time off. For instance, Adobe makes it mandatory for employees to take actual holiday time by shutting the company down. This signifies that nobody needs to experience a lot of pressing internal emails when they get back to work and everyone resumes newly revitalized. The three secrets to effective time investment, achieve more success with less stress, forward by Cal Newport, 
author of So Good They Can't Ignore You Elizabeth Grace Saunders Book Review. The majority of us live carelessly, controlled by feelings such as remorse and dread to attempt and force as much as we can into our day-to-day -day life. However, as a matter of fact, we just have a limited time. When we don't accept the fact that time is limited, we eventually become stressed out and tired, and also, our entire relationship is in jeopardy. By utilizing the three key secrets to time investment, the way we live our lives can totally be changed. The first step we have to take is to set action-based priorities. And the second step is to ensure that our expectations are feasible. The third secret is, we have to create easy habits that allow us to remain on the right path. Select a trigger to start your routine. At times, the most difficult part is beginning an action. This is the reason why it can be beneficial to start a routine by incorporating it into something you already do. For instance, let's say you wish to begin jogging each morning, prepare to step out immediately after you've drank your first coffee. Also, it can be beneficial to strategize the action you will try out right after the jog, like heading to have a shower. Incorporating fresh action into your old habit will make it seem more adaptable.